Hello everyone, so today we're going to talk about one thing, USB drives. Yep, we're going to talk about USB drives, all of these hard drives, all of these thumb drives, even a memory card, how we're going to connect them to an iPad. Let's do this. Right, so here is the thing about connecting an iPad to any USB drives. As simple as a thumb drive here. You will need an adapter, right? I don't use thumb drives anymore. I can't believe when the last time I used them. But I have a few old ones and I'm going to, like to show you if you, you know, have the need to use them which I don't suggest, especially nowadays, we should always go to cloud drive. However, in some instances, you might actually need a USB drive. So you need an adapter. That's the first main thing. Right now, here is an adapter, an example of an adapter. So I've got here a USB-C adapter. Let's see up here. Is USB C connector, and then here there are several connectors. So there's USB A, there's Ethernet cable, there's HDMI, and there's USB C, for example, if you want to charge it at the same time. Right, so there's the icons, all the icons here USB A, Ethernet cable and HDMI and power them, right? This is, I've got this, an old one, probably less than about, less than 10 pounds, you can get on Amazon. So if you're looking to buy one, um, on Amazon there's plenty of brands out there, especially my favorite brand, brand is uh, Anchor. Anchor is selling a USB-C, if you can see here, for about 22 pounds, it's really good quality. However, this one also included a memory card reader at the same time and it's 4k hdmi so it's all out there the simplest that you can get is for this for what we're planning to do today is usb c to usb a there's the simplest one which look like this okay that is a usb c and then this is the usb a this is the basic if you just want to connect any USB drive to your iPad, right? If you don't need HDMI, if you don't need Ethernet, if you don't need memory card reader, this is the simplest you can get for about £10. Right now, here's what you need to do. So I've got my um, thumb drive here, Kingston, okay, USB, and I'm going to connect it to my hub stop and the USB-C I'm going to connect it to my iPad boom there we go you can notice the icon at the top that detects a hub or uh, especially when there's an Ethernet source connected or something with an Ethernet port connected so what you need for this functionality is an app called files okay files is an app by apple okay some uh, ipad or iphones already been installed some have not so you need to install it or look it up yourself so open it and if you can see on the left hand side there's my thumb drive Kingston and those are my resources so I can do a lot of things with it I can open it I can edit for example this is a word file right I can open it I can open it in a word app there we go easy I can edit it I can save it I can do whatever I want with it I can copy things around, right? For example, I can open it multitask, 
right so i can copy for example this one goes here i can do whatever i want with it it's like an ease it's like a it's like your windows browser or files browser it works just the same just using an adapter now this also works with a usb hard drive for example this one is a g drive usb hard drive there's a usb there and if i connect this let me do this now Can you can see it lights up okay and then I'm gonna to go to the files app and if you see here on the left hand side there's my drive so in this hard drive I have uh, two partitions I think the first one is my backup and the second one is my G Drive mobile which is this hard drive so I can do whatever I can open it I can browse through it I can do whatever I want with it and it works just as the same so easy so quick if you need to access your hard drive get the USB hub with your iPad sorted easy peasy right i hope this video has been useful if you have any questions leave it down below if you have any thoughts or any ideas also leave it down below Right, see you in the next one. Bye.